Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. 11.32, time for a life hack. Angie, are you ready for a life ready. hack? It's a Monday. Come on, thrill me. Day. I'm ready for something oh, eye-opening. You will not be thrilled by this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not bad, I guess. Okay, buying a used iPhone. Have you ever bought a used phone before? No, I have not. Yeah, I haven't either. But I think, no, actually, I think I got a refurbished phone for my son, his first phone. But that Which was a makes long sense. time ago. Yeah. So they basically did, you know, they basically restored it. But anyway, uh, Apple Watch or an iPad. We haven't bought anything used. But check how many battery cycles have been used. This will give you information about the condition of the item and without even looking at it. To make that this easy, install an app like Coconut Battery, iMazing, or 3U Tools, and you can find out how many battery cycles I guess it's had. So you'll know, I guess, how many owners it's had. I didn't even know that was a thing, a battery cycle. Uh, it is about, well, then now we do. There you go. Okay, amazing and I may Oh, you coconut go battery. It. But you don't have coconut a coconut battery. Or iPad. I, I, no, I don't. But I mean, just in case I D ever just in decide case you do to. That? Yeah. Well, now you know. Okay. We'll have to go back and dig through uh, yes, our say, calendar. Please say that, Ron. <laughs> I'm sure. Please, I know you all want to know. I too. know. I know your husband, George. <laughs> if it's a used phone that you have, it'll be his used phone, yeah. which was high end, <laughs> which was cutting edge the year before, yeah. and he's got tired of it. He's ready for the new phone. Yeah, well, I know my son has a better phone than me. He's got the brand new iPhone 14. Although I could have had it, made the sacrifice, just say. <laughs> when I switched carriers, they, they gave us a free phone. I, I let Jordan take it, and he loves it. <laughs> anyway, southbound and northbound traffic on the Twin Bridges. Things are looking pretty good out there at Ellis Park. And like to see that. Those are major arteries, obviously. 40,000 cars and trucks, on average, go over those twin bridges every single day. Got a few clouds off in the distance. It was really cool this morning, uh, looking from downtown Owensboro on our Bill Morgan camera there at the Hampton Inn. We saw the thunderstorms off in the distance that were basically cutting through Perry County between Leopold and Tell City. And we had the rising sun. It was shooting some rays over the tops of those thunderstorm clouds. It was pretty impressive, to say the least. Uh, now, not looking so impressive. Looking pretty hazy blue as the humidity is up, and that's going to be the case really throughout the week. It's not going to be oppressive humidity, but it's going to be humid enough. And when you get the temperatures in the 90s, and we're going to be in the 90s every single day this week, uh, that it's going to be a little tough to take, especially in the afternoon. So, But nothing unusual for late July. Pretty typical, really. As we take a look at the traffic, not a whole lot out there right now. It's 66 and 69. Looking pretty sparse. Uh, as we approach lunchtime. Usually that's not the case. And you can see a few clouds out there over Central City. Quite a few clouds earlier today, but yeah, we got more breaks in the clouds and that, that lighter blue, the humid blue. And then downtown Evansville in all its glory, our Superior Ag camera on top of Fifth Third Bank getting the shot there. If we look at the numbers at the airport, 88 degrees dew point, where it's going to be pretty much all week long in the upper 60s, although at times it could creep into the low 70s and become very humid. It's for the most part, it's going to be humid. And that's doable, I mean, it, but at the same time, it's not comfortable. West wind at 13, that will help us out. Again, doesn't matter which direction that wind is from, south, southwest. If it's blowing your body heat away from you, it's a welcome thing to have in the summertime, no doubt about that. We're already up to 88 here. Now, it's a little cooler in some places. Owensboro's had rain within the past hour, and that kept the temperature, or knocked the temperature down anyway, to 79. Uh, 83 degrees right now in Madison, a little bit cooler out there as well. 83 in Jasper, 86 in Tell City, where we've seen more sunshine, and obviously what little rain we've had, it's kept the temperatures down, where we've seen the rain and the clouds, obviously, and the sunshine has brought the temperature up to 88 here in town. 87 Princeton and Carmi, so it's pretty warm numbers there, to say the least. It'll be hot soon enough. Check this out. Julie Clem of Jasper. She had a tomato, or not a tomato, but a potato under her sink. I guess she forgot about it. And she goes back, opens a cabinet door where the potato was under the sink, and there, there's a potato tree growing out of her potato. You know, potatoes, they think you can grow a lot of things in potatoes. It, pretty good deal there. Uh, Julie, hey, I, no, actually, Julie didn't send that to me. A friend of Julie sent me that to me, but Julie's from Jasper. Anyways, we take a look at live first morning Doppler radar. Not a whole lot shaking right now. You can see got a little thunderstorm over there to the east in central parts of Kentucky, but we did have rain cut through Owensboro within the past hour. This is a one-hour loop. And you can see that rain kind of running off to the east and now kind of trickling down to next to nothing. Actually, a little shower now still left, and that is in northern Ohio County, pretty close to Fordsville. But it was a pretty good downpour that cut through Owensboro. Actually, a little bit over an hour it was in downtown Owensboro as it continues to work to the east and southeast. Uh, it is fizzling out quite a bit. And really, that's the only thing we've had on the board. But we have seen rain today. This is a 24-hour rainfall. We had a few showers and thunderstorms yesterday afternoon as well. Heaviest rain just to the west of the tri-state. Even had a severe storm earlier this morning. And right around 5 o'clock, 
but it was did not last long. I mean, it was canceled because the storm weakened pretty quickly, but it was for Saline County. So just actually including Harrisburg, but it's now off the board, obviously long off the board. And we haven't seen anything since. Now, heavier pockets of rain up to the north, and we saw this yesterday, but right there just outside of Washington, uh, in, well, okay, Alfordsville there, 1.3, just outside of Washington, 1.1. So a little over an inch of rain. And where you see those green pockets, that usually indicates better than an inch of rain. Elsewhere, less than that, but still where you see the darker blue, it's a pretty impressive rainfall. They had a pretty impressive uh, rain shower, or at least a thunder shower, cutting through Dubois County earlier today and Martin County too, but uh, nothing severe for those. Look at these thunderstorms, so plowing due south, just to our west, as they make their way through Missouri, basically western sections of Missouri, that will not be impacting us, but that uh, MCC is really impressive. The mesoscale convective complex as it continues to uh, make its way to the south. Looks like it's weakening quite a bit, though, as it does. Anyway, we got the chance for a few more showers and thunderstorms to fire up as we work our way through the day. As we see in the afternoon, early afternoon, really not a whole lot going on. Just a few showers, maybe a stray storm or two. And then as we head into the mid to late afternoon, now we're starting to see a little more activity. Although future track, I think, overplaying the amount of thunderstorms we're going to see, but we are going to see a few, it looks like, as we head into evening and then things settle down not long after the sun goes down. Overnight, not much going on. First thing tomorrow morning, though, we can see a few more showers and storms firing up for our Tuesday. Things settle down again, kind of like what we had today. Fired up early, settled down, fired up again a little bit later in the afternoon and evening. But, yeah, it's at the same time, uh, not a whole lot as far as widespread rain. So definitely no... Uh, no washout any day this week, but we do have chances for rain every day this week. 91 degrees for a high today with a mix of sunshine and clouds. Could see a few storms. We do have an isolated severe threat for damaging wind and large hail with these thunderstorms that pop. And we could see a few popping, especially mid to late afternoon and early evening. A humid, yes, but not very humid with a south-southwest wind at 5 to 15 miles an hour. On Friday when I was last year, I called for a high of 85. 85 it was. That's a winner. And Brandon Kitchens. Let's hear it for Brandon of Henderson. Congratulations, Brandon. You've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. On the seven-day outlook, temperatures will be in the low 90s over the next few days. And you can see we'd have an isolated severe threat today. Same goes for Wednesday, a severe threat on the board. And then we are seeing uh, temperatures really start to hit uh, the mid-90s and stay there by Thursday. We're going to be in the mid-90s both days over the weekend. So, yeah, chances for rain every day, but nothing better than 20%, it looks like, right now. So Plenty hot, right? Yeah, plenty hot, plenty humid, that's for sure. But at least not very humid. No V-humids on the board. All right, this was my fun fruit today. Monkey face pepper. This came from Phyllis <laughs> Titchener. There are the two eyes. There, there's a mouth agape right there. You got the teeth, the pepper seeds, and look at those big old monkey ears on either That's side. That's pretty funny. That is a good That's one. Phyllis Titchener has had a bumper crop. That's probably her seventh or eighth funky fruit uh, that she has sent me. Her her garden. I don't know what she put in her gar garden, but it's, <laughs> it's growing a lot of funky fruit. Oh, that is so cute. Thank you. We'll be back. Stay with us.